Um, what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be um, having our coffees and I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction about the tour. Um, we're going to be looking at a period of history from around the mid-1800s right up until today. So we're heading to Frontline Gallery and Frontline Gallery we're going to be looking at some combat art. Um, so what I'm going to do while we travel um, to Frontline Gallery is I'm going to give you a little bit of um, uh, the history of the resistance zone. Um, and also lead us into the kind of work that we're going to be seeing at Richard's Place. Um, the artist called Colonel Pham Tam Tam, um, who's a very good friend of his. Um, and uh, this piece here is a work at uh, uh, describing a moment at Dien Bin Phu. So you can see the art soldiers coming out of the trench and you can see um, here this mountain range surrounding them. Um, this is Le Lam. All these four pieces here are by the same artist. Often you'll have a scene in the foreground and then in the background you get this um, massive indication of progress. So, so you probably would have filled in the watercolour later on that evening, but these artists did have to be um, incredibly fast. And he says to the soldier in front of him, just stop, just, just wait, just turn around. Um, this incredibly kind of muscly individual, the power of the worker and, and indications of massive progress in the background as well. So still, of course, you have your soldier, very important. Okay, um, so what you're looking at here is a mixture of architectural styles. Um, we've got Chinese and French. And, this, and the Chinese symbols are surrounded by this uh, blue-green ceramic, um, which is a Chinese glaze. scientists and artists are compared because they have hypotheses, they have to go out, they have to find the materials to prove it and, and gather information. So he went there, he recorded hours and hours of sound and covered them in glass beads in a way to sort of cover up the invasiveness of it and also make it less intimidating.